I was going to ask you, how do you feel after the year you had? I mean, you scored an incredible try uh, last week, which we'll talk about. But how have you maybe changed as a, as a person and player? And has it affected you in, in any way? Uh, not really. I'm, I'm, I'm the same old person, really. Um, you know, just got a bit more experience under my belt, obviously, from last Six Nations and, and then going on the Lions tour. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say I'm just a little bit more experienced and... Um, you know, um, nothing nothing has changed too much. Obviously, there were no crowds at the Six Nations last year. How, how, did that did that help you? Did that take the pressure off a little bit? Because I know then in, in autumns we did. And how and how how much different was that for you? Experienced both. Uh, yeah, probably took a bit of pressure off me because um, I don't have to worry about any outside factors then, just my rugby. Um, but it kind of it kind of yeah, it kind of helped me going into autumn. Um, I'd already had, I think, ten caps by then, or nine caps by then. So, going into autumn and playing in front of in front of the fans was absolutely amazing. So, looking forward to doing it again. Well, you scored your debut Six Nations try against Ireland. Uh, obviously, you have them again this weekend. First game of the Six Nations. How are you feeling about that match? And you know, you know, facing that Irish defence as well. Yeah, we're we're all looking really forward to it. To be honest, we had a we've had a great training week and. Um, training this morning was amazing, so we're all we're all looking forward to it, and um, we know we know it's going to be a tough a tough task, and we know what Ireland bring and how how strong they are defensively, and obviously with Johnny Sexton controlling their attack, it's, it's obviously just as dangerous as their defence. So um, we know what we got to do, and we, it's just about delivering on Saturday. Last one from me. Obviously, you've scored some incredible tries. A lot of players have speed, but the word that keeps coming up for you is the way you float across the pitch. I just want to kind of get in your head when you get that ball, especially with that try last week. What do you think? And, and you know, is there any process or is it just instinct at the moment? Uh, something like your kick receipt last week was probably instinct. Um, you know, I got to try and break that first line of defence, and then, and then I can try and you know use my my pace to get around the the second or the last uh, line of defence. So I'd probably say that's instinct. But um, you know, when I get the ball and and there's someone opposite me, I've got to try I've got to try and think of something else how to get around them or get past them. So that's probably just you know the skills I work on in training and stuff like that. And, and, and is there something for this Six Nations that you've been kind of working on particularly? I know I said last question, but, you know, is there, what's the add-on for you this this year without giving too much away? Uh, I mean, I've, I've probably got faster, which help, always helps. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I've just got to try and do the basics well, and that's all I've been working on, really, you know, doing the basics well, and then hopefully my, you know, my speed and, and all of that other stuff will take care of itself. Well, a fast Louis Rissam is something I'm really looking forward to. Listen, <laughs> enjoy it and good luck. Thank you very much. Uh, Gareth, coming to you. Hi, Abit. How are you doing? You mentioned how you get faster. How do you measure that within rugby terms? Uh, so we got a GPS device on the back of our shirts and, you know, that measures <laughs> that measures everything in, in terms of speed. So, um, you know, one day, one day I'll be quicker than the other, so I know I'm getting faster. Just in terms of the Six Nations, um, a game away in front of a crowd, how much are you looking forward to that experience in Dublin? Yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to it, to be honest. Um, I've heard the, the Irish are, are quite nuts, so, um, you know, I'm really looking forward to it and, and hopefully we've got a lot of Welsh fans coming out to support us as well. You obviously have made such an impact in your first year, Lewis. Do you think you'll, people know now a bit more about you and if they do, what you've got to do to sort of combat <clears throat> that? Yeah, pe people will, um, but I've got to try. I've got to try and I've got to try and you know do more so they can, so they can't they can't know everything about me. Um, and that's that's kind of what I kind of work on in training and stuff like that. So I'll know I'll know that they maybe know a lot about me and and the way I play. But hopefully I can do things they won't know. <laughs> and just in terms of you know you burst onto the scene, how, how has your life changed in the last eighteen months? Uh. I mean, it hasn't changed too much because of COVID and stuff like that. But I'm kind of the same old guy. I I go to train in the morning, come back and just chill with my family, uh, chill with my dog, and uh, and just chat to my friends. To be honest, I'm not. I, <laughs> there's nothing really other than that in in my life going on. But um, yeah, nothing's really changed too much apart from when <laughs> when I go out maybe in Wales and someone stops me for a photo. But that's about it. And what was the birthday cake they got you? Uh, they got me a sponge cake, my favourite strawberry sponge cake. 
Lovely. Well, I hope you celebrate on Saturday. Thanks very much for your time. Thank you. Okay. Um, we can do a couple of questions, Hamish, and then one for Matt, and then we'll have to end um, the live section there. Oh, Hamish, we can't hear you. Hang on. Sorry, you're not on mute, but for some reason I can't hear you. Matt, do you want to jump in just while... Yeah, yeah, I'll jump in quickly while Hamish is sorting his mics out. Um, I think I'm sorted, aren't I? But... Oh, go on, mate, yeah, you crack on. Just uh, two very quick ones. Just one of you talked about um, increasing your speed. Have you done anything in particular? Do you, do you get the running spikes out after the Lions store or anything like that? <laughs> um, no, I got a uh, speed performance coach at Gloucester, Dan Tobin, who, you know, we work, <laughs> we work on it every day. So um, he's, he's a great person to have. And... Um, he's kind of a mentor as well, so um, you know we've been doing loads of drills that will help me, and uh, it's, it's been it's been showing that I've, I've actually been getting quicker, which is always good. I'm just wondering in terms of the style of tries. The try against Ireland last year was all about squeezing in the corner versus, say, the try against Scotland, which was some long range. Do you have a preference over, you know, far out or squeezing what? into the corner? What's your favourite type of try? Uh, I'd probably say a distance one because I can kind of show my speed and my awareness. Um, but I mean, <laughs> I'll take any try. <laughs> I'll take any try. Okay, thanks. Cheers. Okay, and then one for Matt, and then we'll end the live section. Just quickly for me, Lewis. Obviously, been touched on there that the autumn was the first time you had full stadiums at the Principality Stadium that you were playing in front of. Just talk to me about what goes through your mind during the anthem in that situation, because very different to when there was there was nobody there. Yes, yeah, it's, it's absolutely amazing. You know, you heard I heard the boys like speaking about it before the game, like you know how electric it is, and um, obviously I haven't exper I hadn't experienced it before um, before the South Africa game, and then when it actually happened, I was like, oh my god, this is <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Um, you literally can't hear yourself sing, or especially in the game, you can hardly like talk to your teammates because it's so loud. So um, you know you can really you can really feel the the crowd <laughs> on your side, and um, yeah, it's a massive help to the team. Thanks, Lewis. Good luck.